हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल वेल्डिंग एंड एंडिटी एंड माय टुडे टॉपिक इज आईएसओ स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर वेल्डिंग सी इन आईएसओ वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड पर्टिकुलरली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट वेल्डिंग देन आल्सो वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर वेल्डिंग आल्सो सो माई फोकस विल बी दन द मोस्ट कॉमन एंड मोस्ट पॉपुलर वेल्डिंग कोर्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू फ्यूजन वेल्डिंग इफ आई से फ्यूजन वेल्डिंग इट इंक्लूड्स ऑल आर्क वेल्डिंग सच एज सिल्डेड मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग टिग वेल्डिंग मिग वेल्डिंग एटसेट्रा सो ऑल पॉपुलर वेल्डिंग आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस फ्यूजन वेल्डिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द टॉपिक फ्रेंड्स टू एक्सप्लेन दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स आई हैव ट्राइड टू कैटेगराइज और आई हैव ट्राइड टू लिस्ट डाउन द स्टेप्स और एक्टिविटीज विच आर रिलेटेड ड्यूरिंग वेल्डिंग फेब्रिकेशन सो फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन दो स्टेप्स and then i'll explain the iso codes which are associated with those steps or activity so our first activity in welding or fabrication work is preparation of a preliminary wps a preliminary wps is prepared and that preliminary wps gets qualified through a welding procedure test welding procedure test or sometimes it is also called as procedure qualification test so that pws gets qualified and this uh, the result of procedure qualification test is recorded and that record is called as welding procedure qualification record pqr or wpqr so after pqr this pws becomes wps so this wps is assumed as qualified now after this qualification of welding preparation specification we conduct welder qualification test welder qualification test or qualification test for welders once the welders are finalized then we start our welding welding work starts see friends i know there are many more activities involved in fabrication but since i have to explain these iso standards only for welding so i broadly categorize the fabrication work in three steps only so now let's start and i'll explain the uh, iso codes which are ex, uh, associated with these activities so for pwps preparation of preliminary wps the iso code which is there is iso 15609 iso 15609 is there for preparation of welding procedure specification that is preliminary welding procedure specification then for qualification of preliminary wps and finalization of this wps we have another code it is iso 15614 iso 15614 see friends in iso like uh, is this is iso 15614 there is a series of 15614 like 1 15614 1 15614 to 15614 3 so this 1 2 3 are for particular uh, welding process or for particular steels but the broad family is this iso 15614 for qualification of welding procedure specification for qualification of preliminary welding procedure specification so at this stage two codes are important first one is iso 15609 for preliminary wps uh, procedure specification and the second one is iso 15614 for qualification of this pws pws now once this wps is Uh, finalized then we start welder qualification test here i would like to tell you something more about uh, this iso 15614 uh, name of this code is friends qualification specification and qualification of welding procedures for metallic materials welding procedure test and here in this code it is given that how pws how pwps is qualified by welding procedure test and this code is applied to all production welding production welding repair welding this is repair r e p a i r 
एंड बिल्ड अप वेल्डिंग सो इट अप्लाइज टू ऑल दीज वेल्डिंग प्रोस वेल्डिंग एक्टिविटी सो आफ्टर दिस फॉर वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट द कोड विच इज असोसिएटेड विथ वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन इज आई एस ओ नाइन सिक्स जीरो सिक्स दिस इज आई एस ओ नाइन सिक्स जीरो सिक्स एंड नेम ऑफ दिस कोड इज क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑफ वेल्डर्स फ्यूजन वेल्डिंग सी फ्रेंड्स आई एस ओ नाइन सिक्स जीरो सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड्स आर अगेन सीरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑन डिफरेंट मटेरियल लाइक आई एस ओ नाइन सिक्स जीरो सिक्स टू थ्री फोर लाइक दैट सो आफ्टर वेल्डर क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट नाउ वेन वी स्टार्ट आवर वेल्डिंग सो इन वेल्डिंग वी नीड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कोड्स आई एल एक्सप्लेन ईच कोड वन बाई वन फॉर वेल्डिंग सिंबल वेल्डिंग सिंबल आर पार्ट ऑफ डिजाइन ऑल्सो एंड फॉर वेल्डिंग एक्टिविटी सो फॉर वेल्डिंग सिंबल द कोड विच इज एप्लीकेबल इज आई एस ओ टू डबल फाइव थ्री सेकेंड वन वेल्डिंग प्रिपरेशन सॉरी ज्वाइंट प्रिपरेशन ज्वाइंट प्रिपरेशन दिस इज वेल्ड ज्वाइंट प्रिपरेशन ओनली एंड इन दिस केट द वेल्ड ज्वाइंट प्रिपरेशन हैज बीन एक्सप्लेन so for this the code which is applicable is iso 9692 now the third activity in welding yes welding process number welding process see friends in iso each and every welding has a particular number and this number can be found in welding process uh, iso welding process number this is number in this number can be found in iso 4063 like for shielded metal arc welding there is a particular welding number for uh, gtaw there is a particular number so for each welding process there is a particular number and this number you can find in this code now after welding process welding position like in asme we have 1g 2g 3g welding positions in iso we have pa pb pc etc these are the welding positions which are given in iso so for welding position the code which we have to refer or the standard which we have to refer is iso 69 47 okay friends now the next code a standard which is needs to be followed for welding is for welding tolerances it is very important the tolerance many of my subscribers used to ask me that which code needs to be followed for tolerance in welding so friends please remember for welding tolerance the iso code which we need to read is iso 139 20 now next code it is for imperfection welding imperfection if i say imperfection in iso there is a fashion they do not write means mostly i have never seen they are they do not write this discontinuity rather than writing discontinuity they write imperfection so imperfection and discontinuity are same words so in this code uh, the, the code number is iso 6520 friends i'll explain this code a little bit more so this is iso 6520 the name of this code is here i'll write it 6520 iso 6520 name of this code is welding and allied process classification of geometric imperfections in metallic materials so this code class uh, actually in this code the imperfections are classified into six groups the uh, or i'll say that the uh, discontinuities is classified into six groups and these groups are P one, P 
टू पी थ्री पी फोर पी फाइव एंड पी सिक्स सो फ्रेंड्स पी वन इज फॉर क्रैक्स पी टू इज फॉर कैविटीज P3 is for solid inclusion. Solid inclusion. P4 is lack of fusion. P5 is imperfect shape. The shape and size also matters. So imperfect shape. And finally P6. P6 is for any other imperfection which is not covered in P1 to P5. that will be uh, covered in p6 so likewise in iso 65201 particularly as i told you the earlier that it's a series so in iso 65201 six groups are given and for imperfection so this is how so after imperfection now welding acceptance criteria acceptance see i get regular regular query from my sub, uh, subscribers for these two first many of my subscribers ask for the tolerance code so this is for tolerance please remember and many of my subscriber ask for what is the acceptance so this is code is for acceptance let, let me write this down this code for welding acceptance imperfection acceptance it is iso Five eight one seven. Five eight one seven is the code which we need to refer for welding acceptance or uh, the uh, imperfection acceptance. So I'll explain this little bit more. See friends, <clears throat> name of this code is fusion welded joints in steel. nickel titanium and their alloys except beam welding beam welding excluded quality levels for imperfection so name of this code is also let me write it down quality levels it has not written as acceptance criteria in the code it is written as quality levels for imperfection imperfection quality levels for imperfection and uh, actually this code is applied is applicable this let me write iso 5817 iso 5817 quality level for imperfection so this code is applied to material having thickness more than 0.5 mm Point five mm, and the quality levels which is given in the code is level B, level C, and level D. So likewise, this level is given, and for example, B, this level B corresponds to the highest requirement on the finished weld. So this is how it is given in ISO five eight one seven. So as per your level, you can uh, either accept or reject your welding. so friends uh, this is for uh, the welding so the codes associated iso codes associated with the welding now one more thing one more thing see will the welding see we, this is the acceptance code and this acceptance code is applicable for visual testing also now if what if other ndt some ndt method as given then so i'll exp, i'll write down the acceptance code for the ndt methods also so for ndt methods only acceptance code i'll like, write for pt penetrant testing the acceptance code is iso 2300 double seven for magnetic particle testing the acceptance code is iso Two three two seven eight. So these codes are in series two three two double seven and two three seven eight. Now the ultrasonic test 
for ultrasonic test it is not in that series it is different iso 11666 and there is one more method uh, advanced ut in advanced ut that is called as tofd time of flight diffraction so for acceptance criteria for tofd the code is iso 15626 and finally for radiography test the acceptance criteria is iso 10675 so these are the acceptance criteria for ndt methods acceptance criteria for nd method ndt method so friends today we learn these these must iso codes so i hope you like this video friends please do give your valuable feedback and comments so that i will be able to improve my videos and also you please suggest me topics for further videos and if you really like this video friends please 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 hit the like button and please share this video with your friends colleagues and uh, on uh, your whatsapp and facebook thank you very much